I would say, I would name a band three devastatingly handsome gentlemen. Fine young cannibals. Final answer. <laughs> Having to take charge. Take charge of my life. You know? And I suppose that's something you could say to anyone. Yeah, old but, man, take a look at your life. Old man, take a look. Huh. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big Neil Young guy. No, me neither. I can't stand the man. <laughs> I mean, his music's great, but I hate him. No, I'm just kidding. I don't like his music either. It makes me want to cry and fucking punch myself. That voice. Um, yeah. Radio. Dial in, dial in, and dial in because I spit out fire. Radio, radio, radio. So all the kids want to hear these goddamn days. <laughs> Just kidding. Radio um, is definitely the so the fan song, and I realized something on this tour that maybe we should have I should have realized earlier is that we have to play that song. If we don't, it's people will be like, what, "What?" When we haven't played it in recent years, like on a one-off or something, kids are like, "Why the fuck didn't you not?" That's why I went. Well, why don't we just play that first and then go home? Well, they like the other ones too, Dan. Oh. Just kidding. Private Eye, maybe. Good one. That was the first song off our like first, um, I think, re when people uh, really started paying attention to our band. And by people, I mean alternative press. Good one, dude. Thanks. No goddamn tracks. It's a lot of records. Yeah, come on, bro. Bobby's nine. Bobby. Bobby. Albums. A lot of records. Wake up. There's girls here. Come on. You said three. <laughs> Good Lord, would you rather makes me crazy. I'd rather gouge out one of my eyes. I've done it before. It fucking sucks, but at least it's familiar. Chewing off one of my fingers. Oof. When I was a kid, I, I, I didn't gouge my... I did not come out of its socket, but like... Uh, yeah. I was mowing the lawn. I was maybe, I don't know, 11 or 12 years old, like mowing my parents' lawn. And I, you know, like if there's like a low, um, there was like low hanging fruit that I had to like get under. And I went down, went under with the, mow, the push mower. It was a, you know, motorized thing, but you still have to like, you know, gas it and push it. And I was pushing it under the tree and I looked up and there was this long, skinny, sharp branch. And I looked up and it just went, right into my eyeball. And there's still like, you could see like little flecks where it was. And I thought my eye was like stuck on the tree. I ran inside like, I just got my fucking eye on mom! Like screaming, I spent the day in the ER. They numbed my whole retina. And uh, um, I mean that my like whole orbital socket was numb and they pulled out pieces of uh, bark out of my eye. Little Ralphie from the Christmas story. Yeah. Yeah, I gouged my eye out. And so, I don't want to find out what chewing my own hand off feels like. The eye gouge sucked, but I think you get over that one a lot faster. And do I get to keep a nub? How many knuckles? I don't know, probably the finger though. <laughs> no, not the finger, we need the finger. Yeah, the eye, still I just... the eye. Trust me, you want an eye. Finger yeah. means no more this. Mm. I mean, you could switch hands for a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, not playing guitar. I could deal without this bright pinky. I'm going pinky, but I'm not, I'm not saying finger. I could do it. I know. I'm saying this because you don't get I to know pick that. no matter what, I couldn't do it anyway. Point is moot. I mean, you would eat your own hands. People have done it. I'm delicious. Like, you know that movie Alive? That mm. It's like, yeah, we eat you first. You look delicious. You know that people are like eating dead ass yeah. in Alive and you say to yourself, I'd never fucking do that. It's like people did that. You would absolutely do that. If it's death or eat that. But it's on me. I'll feel the Dance, pulse of You're thinking too much about it. Just first answer. Finger. Yeah. Okay. Two knuckles. It wasn't so much that I hated the job, I just hated the part of the job where I was like getting hit by cars. Um, or, you know, just getting talked to like you're human garbage. Wish I was, when I think about it. I was a little garbagey. I don't write about my job anymore. <laughs> Plain yeah, and simple. Scratch that one off the board.
Yeah, don't I don't write about bike messengering. I'm glad you wrote that song. Yeah, it's really simple. It's just like yeah, uh, Blackbird was going to be a political song when I had lyrics for it. It was. Yeah, but they were not. They weren't that good because I don't write politics. But there was. It was definitely going to be. Like you could. You thought Kathy Griffin got in trouble. It was going to be bad. <laughs> so. What? You know, when she posted a picture of herself holding Donald Trump's head and now she can't get a job. Oh, right. What? Do you need more? Yeah, you said you had a list. I was kidding. The Star Spangled Banner. And Steven Tyler at uh, the Indy 500 or whatever the fuck that was. You thought Roseanne slaughtered that motherfucker? Dude, Steven Tyler forgetting words, just scatting. I mean, I'm sure I, I, I like some Aerosmith songs and I'm sure, St I don't know Steven Tyler, maybe he's a beautiful human. I'm assuming he probably is, um, and a maniac, but that, that, uh, that Star Spangled Banner, like, I, I'll never hear it the same. That, uh, beautiful song was destroyed and killed that day for me. Well, once upon a time, dear old Dan was an eight-year-old boy, and I heard ZZ Top for the first time, and I thought that shit was terrible. Bad songs, bad production, and I knew then I didn't like it. So fast forward, many, many years, call it 30, and I'm reintroduced to ZZ Top, my dear friend, and uh, I loved it. And what I discovered was all the stuff that they had made before Legs and before all that shit was really, really good, soulful, groove and vibey classic rock, insane musicianship, great band, great songs, very inspired by Hendrix, the blues, this is an amazing band. And what happened was Billy Gibbons in the 80s decided he had to do everything like Drum Machine and make everything sound like that. And so essentially, he ruined his own music because I didn't know for 30 years of what a good man they were. And now you can go back and he didn't just ruin the future of ZZ Top, he actually went back and re-put Drum Machine on all the records that they had already made that were awesome. And so now it's sort of you have to put in the work to find the good shit. And uh, so, yeah, that kind of ruined uh, a good legacy of rock for me for a long time. Very disappointed when I heard all this. Pretty much anything on like their first three or four records is awesome, but it wasn't for a long time. <laughs> and you couldn't find the awesome version until now. Uh, the Spin Doctors, I think, have done terrible things for music. 90s Kiss is really bad, or like maybe eight, late 80s Kiss, just let's put the X in sex. Once they took that, it's like, dude, put the makeup back on for a few reasons. I just called Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder. Maybe one of the greatest musicians in American history, one of the worst poorly produced songs of the 80s biggest hit the song sucks smells like teen spirit was their only hit for a long time for anyone that was around for that and they rightfully so played the shit out of that song but that's a great song that i can't really listen to anymore because it's not like i would turn it off but i don't listen to nevermind because it's just been like shoved down my throat you know i love nirvana i love that record um it's just played too much. It smells Like Teen Spirit is just a song that once you hear it, it's like saying the word door. Like doors are, door is a cool word, but you say it enough times it starts to sound weird. There's a song that I put on our first record called Enjoy Your Day. It's like an acoustic ballad, very hard on your sleeve, uh, very sensey boy song. And um, I still like the song, actually. I just really can't stand listening to my voice on those early recordings, and uh, so it's sort of ruined in that regard. And I like playing it because I feel like I can sing it better now, but I can't listen to it. When like Stain D and like when that Her to Her kind of stuff was big, all those songs. All that Her to Her, Her to Her. One more time please. <laughs> her to Her, Her. Anytime somebody says, yeah, it's been a while. Been a while. Her to her.